Welcome back to Bunex Investment Group. In this video, I am going to give you a secret trading trick that will definitely change your trading results. All you need to do is to understand each and every step that I'll provide you. Alright, so basically everyone wants to trade and make a profit. But to trade and make a profit means to get winning trades. How do you get winning trades? Of course, you're not going to be 100% to get those winning trades. So as we know that, all the pairs that we trade might be Euro USD or DSD. Any trading pair will actually consist of two pairs, two currencies. So like in this case, I am on odd against dollar. And odd against dollar means that we are actually in a tag of war between Australian dollar and US dollar. So if we are in a tag of war, whatever wins, the market will move in that particular direction. Meaning that if we actually get a strong odd uh, Australian dollar, we'll have the market shift to the upside. If we have a strong US dollar, we'll have the market shift to the downside. So if we have that particular information, we'll actually be able to make the rightful decisions within the markets. How do we get that information? That information will actually come from the fact of analyzing what builds up these particular currencies. What builds up Australian dollar and what builds up US dollar? So we are not going to delve into fundamental analysis, which is one of the factors that builds up these currencies. But we are going to remain on the technical side, whereby we use the indices or the indexes that are behind each currency pair. So before I talk about the indices for this particular pair, for those who are going to use this particular method, I'm going to give you the indices for each uh, 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 currency. The indice for uh, US dollar, the indice for US dollar is actually called the DXY. So you need to take this uh, in your notes. The DXY is the indice for US dollar. Then the indice for pound uh, is called, um, it's called, uh, uh, it's called uh, uh, BXY. Then for the indice for Japanese yen is called uh, JXY. So all have uh, these XY notations. DXY US dollar. Uh, CXY for Canadian dollar. SXY for Swiss franc. EXY for Euro. ZXY for New Zealand dollar. JXY for Japanese yen and AXY for Australian dollar. So basically these indices are there to provide us information for that particular currency. If we see a DXY rising, it means that the US dollar is rising against a, a basket of all other pairs. And if we see um, the CXY rising, it means that the Canadian dollar is rising. So if we manage to analyze what is happening within these indices, we can have much more information in terms of the entries that we take on their corresponding pairs. So for instance, let's take for uh, 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 the DXY, uh, for, for, for the DXY, which is the US dollar indice, right? So if we look at the DXY indice, what can we say? Analyzing this particular pair, or analyzing this particular asset, we can see that it's actually in an upward move. This upward move will actually tell us what is happening within this particular time frame. So we need to start off on the higher time frame so that we see what is taking place. This is the higher time frame, and on the higher time frame, we can see that uh, uh, there is um, there is actually a rise. What or how can we uh, define that this is a rise? We can see that there is a break of market structure after accumulation of, of three levels to the downside. These three levels are actually coming from the fact that we have one, then uh, two, and then the last impulse to the downside, meaning that three levels have been issued. So three levels have been issued. We expect to see a W pattern, which was issued, and then the market started to go to the upside like that. So what are we now expecting in this particular scenario? 
This particular scenario now leaves us from a higher probability to see this market pull back and give us level two flow. So that pullback might uh, probably come to this particular point. And if uh, we have a pullback to this point, we we'll expect to see uh, the market go to the upside like that. So this pullback on the higher time frame is uh, basically uh, has a higher probability to come to the neckline of this W pattern. And this move, since it's on the daily time frame, we can say there is a temporary weakness within the US dollar. Mark this word. There is a temporary weakness within the US dollar. So we write down, what are we expecting on DXY? A temporary weakness or basically a weakness for this particular week or this particular month uh, up to this to this particular price point, 101.78. This is where we'll be expecting to see the market to move next. So if that is the case, it now means we now need to check the other uh, index, which is AXY. We, we are analyzing Australian dollar against USD. So if that is the case, let's now see what is taking place on uh, AXY. Mind you, this is not available on all brokers. You may actually need to use um, you may actually need to use um, trading view for you to get these indexes because on brokers uh, a few of them it's actually a few that offers these particular assets. So the first thing is always to start on the higher time frame. So on the higher time frame, what can we see? We can see that there has been consolidation phase and there were spikes on the daily time frame of the Australian dollar index. So these, this is what happened. We had these as our lows and from those lows we had a push to the upside which was this one. So that push actually broke the high and then we had another push to the upside like this. Right uh, like this. Then from there we had uh, a pullback and then what are we expecting in terms of our market maker levels? We are expecting to see the market to go to the upside uh, basically like that. Right? So it means that uh, we are expecting a strong Australian dollar from these particular lows. So a strong Australian dollar, if we say a strong Australian dollar and a weak uh, US dollar, what do we get? We'll get... Uh, a move to the upside on a pair like Australian dollar against USD. So on the pair like Australian dollar against USD, what we now need to look for is now to go on the lower time frames because we are expecting to see a strong Australian dollar against US dollar. We now need to find proof of buying or proof to see the markets go to the upside. So what do we uh, look for? when we actually see a move to the downside like that we say when the market makers fail to reverse the markets at level three they will usually reverse it at level five so in this particular case we had the first drop um, then we had uh, the second drop which is day two uh, then we had day three and then we had uh, day four then we, last but not least, we had day five. After five days of drop, what do we expect? We expect to see market reversal. But in this particular case, we've seen that uh, we have a higher probability to move to the upside from the indices. But still, we need to get uh, a confirmation entry or basically uh, a confluence of uh, uh a confluence of signals so that we can get the proper entry. So in this particular case, we had uh, first uh, we a drop to these lows and then we had a pull to the upside. So it means that at a support, if we get an entry at a support, it will be of higher probability for, to, for us to see the market go to the upside like that. So basically, this is how you would apply this particular trading technique whereby you are going to uh, look at the indices first 
And then after looking at the indices, you now jump to the pair that is uh, indices. So what we don't want to see is basically uh, what is happening on NZD, uh, on NZD indices, uh, which is called um, ZXY. It's actually, this is the indices that... zxy and uh, if that is the case you do not want to be involved within that particular uh, particular indice so let's go on the higher time frame where there is less gaps and uh, where the flow is a bit clearer than on the lower time frames so this is what is taking place on the higher time frame we can see that uh, the market is actually in a range the range can be easily seen with a uh, higher time frame. I've shifted to the um, to the monthly time frame. You can see that this particular phase is a range. There is no trend. So in this particular case, it means NZD is going to be something that uh, favors uh, ranges than trending. So we wouldn't want to have something like this when using this particular technique. Moreover, we do not want something that to actually give us a pair that would say uh, euro is strong, USD is strong. In that case, the pair will actually chop. We need to see either one weak and one strong so that we get a bias, a proper market bias, basically like that. And uh, lastly, we do not expect to get a 100% uh, return or basically a 100% win rate. We always need to apply our risk management because we may get uh, or we may have a mistake in analyzing the indices of the pairs. On that note, we've come to the end of our today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.